Um, and uh, the topic that I've chosen for the day is uh, for us to lay out the proof within the words of the Most High and His prophets, where we can share with the people that we are actually doing as the Most High has stated, that we are actually bearing witness to His words, that He would punish us seven times more once we decide to go against the grain and go against the law, statutes, judgments, and precepts that we were clearly given. So on this panel today, on this topic, uh, our goal would be to shed light and to go into the book and actually explain to our people that they may understand clearly what they're looking at because at times a man may look at a thing but he may not clearly understand what it is he's looking at and he may not understand it. So I would hope that the brothers on the panel would be able to bring forth their experience in life, what they're seeing currently, where they live and how it has a direct correlation to what has been prophesied in times past. Okay. So like in in um, in the UK when you see the the what's going on, especially with the Israelites, it seems like at this moment, like COVID and everything, it seems like they want to put the blame on us. Like uh, they're saying that where the target, you know, is saying that we are the it's easy to affect us. So and it seems like and they're put, portraying it like it's only like the the black people not they don't they the ones what's not wearing a mask or not getting it's not getting the uh, the you know like the COVID injection. So it seems like they want to blame. See, I, I think the same in America as well. I'm not sure. You know, so all the a lot of the um things what's going on, it's like the tag, it was like now when I see what's going on around the world, like Haiti. Uh, the target in Haiti because the president came forward and saying that he didn't want their people to get vaccinated, so they, they assassinated him three days ago. So it seemed like they were, they're targeting us, you know. So it's all these the curses because we're not uh, conforming to the most high. It seemed like the curses are still going on, yes, sir. Yeah, Brother Henry, to piggyback on what you said there about Haiti, I found that very interesting as well because, you know, it, it definitely looks like there was some foul play that occurred. But what was interesting when I, as I followed the news was to find out that most of the Haitians have not received the first COVID shot. So it seems as though there is some parlay between what the president had going on and what the new administration wants to implement. What something else that came up in Canada recently was the, the Aboriginal Canadians, the natives, they were finding uh, hundreds of bodies um, that were being exhumed from the residential schools that the colonizers were putting the Aboriginal natives in, which uh, their punishments, what they went through, it seems very similar to what's laid out in Deuteronomy 28 as far as um, the punishments that our ancestors endured. Which got me to thinking, could these have been our people or related to us in some way? But yeah, it's a current case in Canada at the moment. And I believe about a thousand bodies or close to have been found just on these residential school properties that were attempting to assimilate the inhabitants of Canada into the ways of their colonizers. So I'm not sure if you brothers have heard of that story or are following as to what's going on. <laughs> Pretty tragic. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I have. Uh, it's um, it's pretty. <laughs> you know, as far as that situation in Haiti, uh, I you know I have my own thoughts on why it happened. A lot of people seem to be able to link it up, you know, to the U.S. Uh, having something to do with it. Uh, that's that's my suspicion. Uh, Especially, I, I don't know if you guys heard, Biden has uh, come up with a proposition where the people will be going door to door to investigate whether you've been vaccinated. Now, when this is going to happen exactly, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I, 
I, I'm not sure that they can actually do a forced vaccination, but I, I'm sure that once they start going door to door to make their inquiries, there will be people who get a bit intimidated and they're going to feel as if, well, I better go get this because they're going to keep coming by my door. Uh, the, um, the overall uh, uh, feeling on social media is, you know, a lot of a lot of Israelites are saying, yeah, well, I dare them to come by my door, you know, and, and all this, you know, what they're going to do. Well, if they if they're into Yahweh hosts, they'll they'll be strong. But, yeah, they, they say they're going to send the troops. I know brother. Uh, well, I call him brother Malachi. That, that's Lee. Uh, you know, he's already informed me they're not coming to his house. <laughs> so I don't know how he's going to pull that off. I'm sure I'm sure he's a pretty he's an intimidating looking fellow. So I'm sure once uh, he says, uh, get away from my door, they'll probably get away from his door. But that's my sentiment. I, it doesn't matter. They can come to, come to my house, uh, whatever they want to do. But um, I think a lot of people are getting nervous behind that. So, you know, it's a, it's a situation where, you know, you have, you have rights, but it seems as if uh, we have no rights that they're going to honor, you know. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Anybody else? Brother Dawid, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, yeah, peace and blessings, brother. Yeah, um, I was just, uh, it's funny, I was just reading about, actually I was looking at uh, this article on uh, from, from coming from the mainstream media that they were going door to door and they was going to start to, like you said, make inquiries about those who haven't been vaccinated and those who have been vaccinated. And like I said, we've been talking about this for years, you know, that we be doing something that was going to assume to me, I, I think they're going to start forcing that on people. Um, slowly but surely, I think that they're kind of easing their way in. You know, first it's about in inquiries, but then as soon it's going to be about. Uh oh. They're going to start taking away your jobs. They're going to start telling your children they can't go to school. You get what I mean? They want to start taking away the net, the, the net. So, like I said, you know, it's it's something that's building up, you know, and I see that it's going to get continue to get worse. And um, you know, even with the situation, y'all, I heard y'all talking about the situation in Haiti, um, about the president being assassinated, which is in relation to this COVID nineteen thing, and I see the same thing happen in Tanzania. You know, with the president there, to me, without a doubt, he was assassinated because he was going against the status quo as far as this vaccination thing. Um, and you're going to continue this going throughout this earth. You know, they're going to continue to push this vaccine, definitely in America. Um, I don't know how true this is. Uh, I just got word from a sister who talked to someone in the medical field that they were going to start trying to shut America down again in the, uh, sometime in September. Um, like I said, right now, that's just a rumor. I don't know how how true that is. But um, I know these things, you know. And um, like I said, I just see it continuing to get worse. And like I said, that's, you know, um, even with the topic at hand, you know, is the most high still judging Israel according to, you know, our iniquities, the iniquities of our fathers. Uh, and absolutely, this is going to be a judgment that's going to reach into the, our communities. You know what I'm saying? Because our people refuse to submit and obey to the will of the creator. And, you know, that's how I see it. So, yeah, I look at this whole COVID-19 thing as something that's going to continue to escalate, you know, as, as, as the time comes. Now, if, 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 can I, can I, can I say something? Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny. Uh, I agree. Uh, they're going to get more forceful with it. Um, but here in America, it's, it's you know, it, it's kind of curious because they claim we have certain rights, you know, uh, freedom of religion. You have the freedom to express your beliefs uh, in the way that you see fit, fit, especially being that, you know, you, you know, if you're not killing anybody, I mean, you can't do sacrifices and stuff like that. But anything within reason, they'll permit. But it's, it's funny how they're going to do that because there are those here in America who, who have a, a, a religious conviction 
you know, and, and taking a vaccine goes against their core beliefs. So how they're going to uh, deal with that situation, I, I don't know, because if, if you're going to take away a person's right to express themselves in their religion, well, if I don't have these rights, well, you can go high hatting them around here. I mean, okay, well, then nobody has rights. All right, that's good to know. You're going to force me to get a vaccine. All right, you don't respect those rights. People are going to do what they want, you know, because what rights are guaranteed? You know, they claim that rights are guaranteed, and yet they're going to try to force this. I don't see how they're going to pull it off. That, that's that's what I'm saying. They they I, I just don't see how they're going to put it off, pull it off, and then claim uh, and and at the same time be in another country, like for example, say China. They talk about China has human rights violations, but yet you're going to pull this off you know, denying people their rights while you go around the world tout, touting about who has human rights violations. I don't see how they're going to pull this off. That's just my, my thing. Uh, um, kind of chime in on that real quick. I was just, I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, to chime in on that. Yeah, I was, um, the same news article that came out of Fox News about this corona uh, testing thing, I mean, um, vaccine thing, they said in Connecticut that they were going to be, um, they were going to waive the right, I guess, for like religious reasons, like people who don't want to get vaccinated because of their religious beliefs. I think somewhere in Connecticut, I think that administration in Connecticut is waiving, um, you know, basically disregarding the whole religious thing that um, they're going to try to enforce those vaccinations or impugn that, you know, them vaccinations on the people regardless of their religious beliefs. So I just want to say that, but I did hear about that in that article. I think a lot of people are taking the vaccine because they're more scared of the COVID than the most high. Right. They don't know the most high, the people. So that's why a lot of people are conforming and taking the vaccinations and things like that. Because I think if they know the most high, they, they should be more scared of him, of the, you understand what I'm saying, trying to say? That's right. And if people know the most high, then they shouldn't be scared at all of what's going to happen because if they feel like they're protected they say that they let the people do what they want to do but I got faith in the most high that's, that the most high is going to protect me you know, okay. coming. You know yeah. I wanted to say that um, I think a lot of the things which are going on are distractions are distractions for people it's all distractions and it shows you that they're desperate they're desperate because the distractions are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Forget the media. The media says one thing, one, uh, you're in a seven day period. And then the, 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 the following seven days, they're saying something completely different. And it's, it's to affect people, but it's to affect those who are part of the flock. It's the flock. So when you say separate the wheat from the chaff, that's what's actually happening. But it's making the, the, the attempts with the media is to actually make people feel that they're alone, that there isn't actually many of us who are actually aware of what's happened and who are also aware of the most high and, and are actually moving as we are now having these conversations. I um, mean, the UK just it's just come out today because next, uh, I think on the 19th, they've said that um, all restrictions were going to be lifted. And we knew that wasn't going to happen. We've had discussions. We knew all restrictions weren't going to be li um, lifted um, because they will have to give back their um, special powers that, that they have at the moment. And um, the part they're saying which will continue is to wear masks. So conversations. It's about being able to converse with people about what's really going on. Uh, but as I said, it's, it's desperate measures that's what it is, because we're moving to another time and we're moving very fast. And, and I believe that every distraction, every distraction is to distract people from, or, and I will say Israelites, from awakening. That's what it is. And actually coming together, because I don't believe that you need millions of Israelites to affect the change, which is going to come. I don't believe you need millions. I believe that there will be enough in time um, that will make the changes. And um, I don't believe in where I know a lot of people talk about guns and nuclear power and this and that. Um, from reading uh, the Book of Remembrance and also 
the other other books like Jasha and Jubilees, all of the other books, which I don't know, I know some of you uh, don't read. I recognise what when the most ties with you, what actually is achievable and what happens and how it how it moves. And, I, and as I said, they're also aware of that because they're also aware of those books. They've also know about what the Israelites, once they wake up to who they really are, um, what effect they will have on this plane. So the behavior we're seeing now is um, desperate behavior because even in this country, they've been doing a lot of things which um, as, as um, Ben Ayer uh, pointed out that there's all of these things going against human rights, it's happening in the UK. But when they're being taken to court, they're saying uh, by by people who are taking them to court, the government, they're being it's being classed as unlawful, but it's not being overturned, or you're not seeing anybody actually penalised for it. They're just using words like unlawful and going ahead with what they're doing. But as I said, we're at desperate times, and they know that. They know they know that. So um, that that's my part of it. I just feel that we've got to keep moving forward and spreading the you know the the word of the most high to to everyone to everyone we can and the ones who are part of the flock who are not really willing to listen and to actually move with us we've got to keep moving and uh keep giving the word to, to those who are willing and ready because there are people who are who are ready to hear but there are those who are, are part of the flock who won't be uh, okay, there's a new there's a new variant. I don't know if you've all heard of it. It's called Lam, Lam, Da. It's called Lam Da. That's a new variant we we heard around the last forty days in the UK. Lam, Da. So we know what the Lam is, you know. So this is this is where we are. This new Lam Da variant. They're looking to take uh, beings out with that. We're aware of that. And uh, anyway, that that's my point. Just be aware of that Lam. Duh, but as I said, the flock that they will be, uh, they'll be part of that, um, which will, which I believe will, um, will go. But there will be a lot of us still ready. But we've got to be ready to receive what the Most High is going to give us to actually carry out the bidding of the Most High. That's what. That's how I feel now. And as I said, everything we're seeing is just they're in desperation. It's desperation. All of the, that that power level in all of those all of the countries we talk about China, United States, Great Britain they're all one family, and all of them, not one of those countries are autonomous. They are all part of the same families, and they are, their their main aim is again is to stop the rise of the Israelite, and that's what they're all afraid of in every country. On this, on this, on this earth, they're afraid of the rise of the Israelite because once, once the Most High moves with the Israelites, nuclear weapons, guns, all these things, the fear, that fear will be gone, and they and they're very aware of it. So everything which we're being shown is about fear, and to make people afraid. But anyway, that that that's that's the part I just want to add.